Okay, this is going to be the long-awaited part two of how to solve a Rubik's Cube using full PLL. Okay, so this is how you do it. So first of all, if you look at the cube, get a full area view of it. And how you can tell that it's the, the T permutation is there's going to be an edge and a corner that are paired. So in this case, it's the green. And then opposite, it would be the edge and corner paired, which would be the blue. So they, they would be opposite each other. And on the left side, the edge would be opposite color to that side. In this case, it's orange and red. And then on the right side, it would just look scrambled up. Okay, so you hold it in this position. And then you do this algorithm. Right, up, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted, front, right twice, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right, up, right inverted, front inverted. And then it's solved. Okay, this next permutation is called the Y permutation. And if you get a good view of this, I'll turn on each side. This is what it looks like. And there's going to be two, an edge and a corner that are paired. In this case, it's the green. And then on the right side, there would be an edge and a corner that are solved. And if you put them so that they match their side, so orange with orange and green with green, and then in between those is a corner that that has the uh, opposite color, so red, orange, blue, green. And then on the back side, the one by two block is like all messed up and stuff. So this is what it looks like. So you put it in this position right here and do front, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right, up, right inverted, front inverted, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted, front, right, front inverted. Okay, this next algorithm, it's called the V permutation. And if you get a good area view of this, um, how you can tell that it's the V permutation is that there will be a 1 by 2 block that is solved. You put it so that in the right place, so it's like red and blue in this case. And then put the um, 1 by 2 pair in the back left side. And then if you look, the front right corner would be solved too. So then it's kind of like an inverse um, Y permutation where inst instead like with the Y permutation these were mixed up and these two were solved correctly. It's the opposite. So these two on either side are mixed up. So then you hold it in this position right here with the 1 by 2 block in the back left corner. You do this algorithm. Left inverted up, right, up inverted, left, up, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left, up twice, right, up twice, right inverted. Okay, this next algorithm, this is called the F permutation. And this is what it looks like. And how you can tell that it's the F permutation. It's kind of the inverse of the T permutation in the fact that the T permutation only had these two that are in the correct spot. In this case, it's the opposite. It actually looks like a T in the, how it's solved. So how you can tell also is that there would be one full solve side. So you would put that in the back. And then in the front, 
it would be solved too in the edge piece. So green, green, and then the blue side would be solved too. So then you do this algorithm. Right, up inverted, right, inverted, up, right twice, y, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front, inverted, right inverted, front, right, front twice, up. Okay, this is a J permutation. There's two versions. There's J, A, and J, B. So how you can tell that it's the J permutation is if you look at these, um, it's like they're paired up, the edge and the corner are paired up on the left side. So right there, right there, and right there and then there's a solve side. So what you do is, in this case you put the solve side on the right side because you want it so that the edge and the corner that are paired are not the same color as the front. So you would put it in this position right here so that the solve side is on the right and that the front side, the corners and edge that are paired, in this case it's the red, needs to go on the left side. So then you do the following algorithm. You do left, inverted, up twice, left, up, left inverted, up twice, right, up inverted, left, up, right inverted. Okay, now this is a JB. So if you look, it looks fairly similar, except the edge and the corner that are paired are on the front right side. So it's that, 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 and then a full solve side. So in this case, you put the solve side on the left side because the front right side, the corner and the corner and edge that are paired together needs to go to the right. So it's like the, or in this case it's orange, needs to go right here to the right. So you have it in this position right here. And then you do this algorithm. Left inverted, up, right, up inverted, left, up twice, right inverted, up, right, up twice, right inverted, and it's solved.